Hello, Rachel Rizzito here. So I get asked a lot by my clients, what is the sacred feminine? Do I need to be a woman to be connected to the feminine? Do I need to be super girly and wear dresses all the time to be feminine? How can I be in my power and also be in my feminine? So there's a lot of questions around what does this actually mean? What is the sacred feminine? And I'll start by saying that you know, if you look at the universe, this entire world we live in is made up of masculine and feminine, right? That is what brings creation into the world. And so every human has masculine and feminine energy as well. You know, we are a product of our mother and our father. So regardless of whether you're a man or a woman, you have masculine and you have feminine. So what I'm most passionate about is helping women to have a deeper connection to their true feminine. You know, we have in our culture a lot of examples of the wounded feminine and the wounded masculine. And this has come from thousands of years of patriarchy. You know, the wounded feminine is really a woman who, you know, has not been seen and celebrated and honored for who she is, but actually the opposite of that. You know, for the last few thousand years, women have really um, have suffered in their ability to connect and harness and, and stand fully in their true feminine power. So we see women who, um, you know, have a hard time communicating uh, their truth, women who hate their bodies, who feel very self-conscious and overcompensate by, you know, um, this, as we see in our culture, there's an overemphasis in physical appearance. Um, women who overly have strengthened their masculine to prove their worth and to prove that they're powerful and they can um, thrive in this society. We see the shadow masculine, and we, this comes through in the form of um, competition and um, very, very exalted egos and um, really having to overemphasize this energy of like machoism and even dominance over uh, to feel secure. So what I see now is we are evolving out of these, these old and um, no longer uh, relevant uh, representations of the masculine and the feminine and that you know what the world needs I think more than anything is for us to start to understand what how do we evolve these parts of us how what is the sacred feminine what is the sacred masculine and how can we as humans have access to both and to heal the wounds from our past and also the lineages our own personal lineages and the lineage of our of our civilization so we do this by understanding what is the sacred feminine and for me you know from a very practical standpoint even if you look at a woman in her sex right her her her, her organs it's 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 about being soft it's about being open and nurturing it's about being receptive and healing and able to dance and flow and cultivate beauty and really stand in the beautiful power that I am a woman. I have pure potential to create, create life or create anything. And it is my connection to, um, to nature, to the mother, um, that allows me to source energy from a very, very deep place within me. And the essence of the sacred masculine is this quality of, uh, well, reverence to the feminine and a deep desire and longing to protect, uh, to build a, a structure for art and beauty and music uh, to thrive. You know, the masculine is able to hold an incredible amount of presence and also the ability to be very focused and directional and get things done. So when we reorient around, orient around these aspects of the masculine and feminine, I have found that we are able to come into more harmony with ourselves, we're able to be more creative, and also to really be more har harmonious in the world. And this isn't about perfectionism. This isn't about only being feminine all the time and women only are these delicate flowers that have to be protected by the masculine. 
Um, however, it is this beautiful understanding that as women, we have range. And for us to be in our power doesn't mean that we have to be masculine and that we have the ability to source from within and to have our default be feminine, but also to be able to lean in and cultivate our masculine when needed in order to execute and to create in the world the things that we want to see. And so the beautiful, beautiful thing that I'm witnessing is this incredible rise of the feminine. You know, she's stepping into her power in a way that we've never really seen before. And we're also seeing um, a redefining of what feminine power looks like. That maybe it's not looking and acting like a man, um, but actually using and tapping into her feminine power and that being a way in which she's able to access a power that is beyond her and that is able to execute and able to create and able to generate in a way that creates more beauty and abundance and um uh, vitality in the world. You know, I think one of the most beautiful aspects of the feminine is we we have this tendency, this, this natural inclination to uh, care for nature, to care for life force. So when you have women in the world who are creating, who are building, who are CEOs, who are, you know, the decision makers and anchored in that, they're leading from their heart and their deep desire comes from a longing to make the world more beautiful and for more life to thrive, you know, for, for there to be an essence of, um, of harmony and of collaboration, um, then oh, that's the world I want to live in. <laughs> um, so as men, we're also cultivating the feminine and in cultivating the feminine, we're able to have refer reverence for the feminine and have a deeper longing desire to protect, to, um, to guard, to guide, um, to help thrive. And when these two energies work together, um, oh my gosh, can you even imagine how beautiful that would be? So it starts within, it starts with us. It starts with us as women to uh, connect with this within ourselves, uh, to heal our inner feminine, to heal our inner masculine, uh, to feel that union within and to um, invite others in our lives into that and perhaps inspire them to do the same. And that's all for now. I just wanted to share this and uh, sending lots of love.